the dependency inversion principle, or DIP, is about flipping traditional dependency structures. It says that high-level modules, like business logic, should not depend directly on low-level modules, like console or file loggers. Instead, both should depend on abstractions. In this C++ example, iLogger is our abstraction. It defines a generic log function without saying how or where the function should be logged. Two low-level modules, console logger and file logger, implement this interface. Then we have our high-level module, order service. Instead of hard coding a specific logger, it receives an iLogger through its constructor. This means order service has no knowledge of whether it's logging to the console, a file, or even a network in the future. It just knows that it's calling log. In, in the test function, we pass a console logger to the service. We could easily swap in a file logger without touching the order service code at all. That's the essence of the of dip, decoupling high level logic from implementation details. This leads to more flexible, testable, and maintainable software. You can replace or mock dependencies without rewriting your core logic, something that becomes essential as systems grow.